All right, here we are, East Campus, uh, post-game wrap-up with Coach Will Austin. Congratulations again, Coach. Thank good you. game tonight. Yeah, thank you. Um, credit to Campbellsville. They, they, they gave us a really good test tonight. Uh, they, they defended very well. They made it difficult for us. Um, and they did it without being, with, they were not dirty, they were not fouling. Uh, they just played some, with some, with some really, really good defensive play, um, which is great for us as we look to prepare for conference. Really good for us to have to have to struggle a little bit and, and find a way to, to get the goals. Yeah, it did take a little time before you broke the ice. Yeah, uh, girls played well though. Talk a little bit about some of your substitutions and how they played as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, to be honest, the first uh, the first 25 30 minutes of the game, um, we, we played some of the best football I've seen in, in the past couple of years. We were we were knocking the ball around for fun. Uh, probably the probably the most buzzing we've been in the warm up um, this year. They, right from the kickoff, uh, created four, five, six, seven really good chances. Didn't take our chances, and, and that's what happens uh, if, you, if you don't take those chances when you're when you're knocking the ball around well. Uh, you're going to struggle to to break through. And uh, fortunately, we ended up we, we scored the four goals and uh, made it a little bit comfortable at the end. But uh, it was a little bit uncomfortable at moments in the first half, yeah. and, and that's a, a great lesson for us that we, that we have to take our chances. Yeah. Um, they are a very well disciplined team. Uh, kind of nice to get the win again. You had another clean sheet, which is also a great thing. Yeah, the, the clean sheet was something we stressed. As we go into conference play again, we, we lost a, we lost a conference championship on, on goal difference last year. So the, the clean sheets have been a big... <laughs> thought he was getting me there. When, when big Kyle Bent runs at you, you <laughs> must be fear careful. of my life there. That's a, that's a big fella running at me. Um, uh, I think he must be lost. I thought he had... Uh, he had three days with his basketball team right now. He must be lost out in the soccer field. Um, so, <laughs> scared for my life there. Big fella. Easy big fella. Um, <laughs> sorry, let me let me compose myself. Um, completely forgot what the train of thought was. But yeah, um, no, I was... Yeah. The importance of the clean sheet and the... Uh, a, a year ago, that uh, goal aggregate actually kind of came back and hurt us. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, the, the clean sheet, we've been stressing that all year and delighted to get a clean sheet. Uh, I haven't seen the stats. We didn't give up a shot in the first half. I think we, may, we might not have given up one all game. If we did, maybe one or two. So delighted with that. Um, also delighted. I think we got seven or eight players into the game. Um, and that's another thing we've been stressing uh, the, the entire week. Uh, all 23 of them have been trading brilliantly. Um, we, we, we made that big point of emphasis before the game. When we sub you in, the level can drop. Levels got a raise, um, and credit to them, they did that. Um, in particular, I thought Sabrina was great off the bench. Uh, she's a senior, and this year we, we've got so much depth that, to be honest, those 14 or 15 of them deserve to start. Um, so, credit to her for, for not sulking, and she said she just says, yeah, whatever whatever the team needs, she steps off the bench and, and raises the level. So, credit what, to all the subs. Who do you got coming in next, coach? Uh, we play. We start Southern States play next week. We play Bruton Parker in uh, Middle Georgia at home. Uh, so. Great to get the great to get a home game here, just to get us get us in the groove of playing at home, and, and hopefully we can we can go into Southern States play. Uh, we're, we're ten and all. We uh, won all of our non-conference games with a very difficult schedule, so we've we've really prepared as well as we possibly could for conference. And now uh, we have something to prove. We've been in the conference for four years. We keep going to the national tournament on that large bid, and, and, and we, we can't win the conference. So it's about time we we, we did better in the conference and. Uh, Obviously, with Kerry and Mobile in there, it's it's a dogfight. So we have to, we really have to to bring our best every single day in the Southern States. Yeah. And uh, this uh, this this challenge and non uh, non conference schedule is, is hopefully prepared as well. Yeah. For that. Uh, just maybe a real quick word about health of the team. That everybody looks pretty healthy. Uh, uh, well, we had uh, we had 12 people sitting out of training uh, a couple of days ago. So uh, we we we've we've just it's, it's halfway through the season. You start to pick up the knocks. Uh, yeah. But we've been we've been managing people and. Again, it was great to get get people some rest tonight and and get a lot of people on the pitch and, and get people some some much needed minutes. Uh, so we now we'll, we'll give them a day or two to, to, to recover. Hopefully the the knocks are getting better and uh, we want to go into Southern States play uh, with a fully fit squad. I, I told them told them all season uh, all 23 of them are doing great. Uh, we have we have depth that we haven't had before, so it's it's imperative that, that they all stay fit and healthy. Awesome. All right, coach. Thanks again. Congratulations, and uh, we'll see you next time on thanks, the pitch. Thanks, Appreciate right. it.